my name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train. We're going to be playing as the Awoken on Covenant level 1. The final boss is Seraph the Temperate. The end is near. This incarnation of Hell's greatest foe will temper the strength of your units. Only the truly determined can survive. You get pride, negative 5 health and negative 5 damage, as well as the starting cards, 2 pie shards, 2 horn breaks and 1 end graft. Yeah, first time a unit is healed each turn, draw one with an end graft in the deck seems good. And rejuvenate. Deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got I got some plans. I already got some plans. I'll tell you what those plans are if they come to fruition. If they don't, then I've never had any plans. I don't know what you're talking about. What's a plan? Enemies entering with spikes too is fine. Because we'll just put spikes on our own unit. They'll be completely fine. As long as we put them in the top line. Great. Let's throw out the obvious. We've respite already. Baby. Two train stewards on the bottom floor for the boss. And Graft will get us a kill and restore another. Whether this is going to be enough for the boss, eh, completely different matter. Looks like it will be off the back of all the rejuvenates. So rejuvenate triggers on heal, and it does it doesn't matter if your unit doesn't have any damage to heal. Still works. Pyro, Sting, Glimmer, I'll take nothing. I'll take nothing. You might have a little bit of an inkling of what I'm trying to do now. Hold over on Engraft, reduce its cost. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, take a unit to just get me through a couple next battles. Uh, fine. When's our next dupe? Okay, dupe in the next area and an artifact. Is there a dupe in the area after that? No, but there is two removal. Okay, good, good. So here's what's up. Engraft, hold over. Hang on. Uh, we're not going to be casting spells on our opponent. And the, the spells we do cast are going to be horn breaks. So it's okay. Horn breaks pierce. We need as much money as possible. Sentient. Horns Warrior, throw a pie shards out. I'll heal for nothing, but it does draw me a card at least. Get a train on the next floor. So Engraft has hold over and cost nothing. If I dupe this and I only have two uh, Engrafts left in the deck, right? I, I play out all my other cards. That's an infinite. I just have those two Engrafts going back and forth constantly. They restore a health, so their infinite damage on the same floor as the Sentient. And they give us energy because they cost nugget, uh, nothing themselves and they give us an energy. So they are infinite on an X cost card as well. I mean, yeah, if it works, I'll just pass. Engraft, restore, restore again. Go for the immediate kill, you know.
15. We may end up taking some damage to this boss here. It really depends. Never mind. Very close, though. I'm glad that I took the Horned Warrior in retrospect. We needed its extra damage to push through fights like this. No. Uh-uh. I'm looking for X costs. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's look at the artifact first. Apply dazed enemy units whenever they enter your pyre room. That'll save a lot of HP. It'll probably save more HP than precious plating, to be honest. Look at the concealed caverns just in case it gives us something I really want to do. Probably not. Gain five energy on the first turn of battle? Eh, not actually that good for us. If that gave us thorn fruit, it could have ruined everything because you can't turn down the relic you get from that event. to begin with. Break one of you, throw away a train steward. Train steward, another train steward. Um... Let's horn break you, actually. Because one more horn break will kill that unit. Not that I need that unit to die right now, but you know, it'd be nice. Thank you for coming up to the top floor. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoy this taste of what's to come, Daedalus. to hit that with. It's okay, though. Totally okay. So I what? I have seven cards left in the deck that I still need to remove. I'll probably take the extra draw after this fight. So actually, I only have six cards I need to remove. And I haven't spent any money on removals yet. It's, uh, it's pretty promising. Just getting past these bosses. I'm so glad that I took that Horned Warrior. Oof. Draw an additional card every turn. Definitely nothing. Uh -uh. You can't convince me to take another card at this point. Only to remove them. Let's get two torches out of the deck. Then another torch. Restore. Another restore. Just 10 short on more. Re oh, there's another dupe and another removal. Perfect. Perfect. We, we, yes. They enter with spell shield. That's fine. I might already have the cycle. We'll see over the course of this fight whether or not I do, but 
I think I might already have it. Sentient, Horned Warrior, Double Pie Shots. I have to do this on the bottom floor because I don't want the Absolver just giving us a bunch of stuff that I have to deal with. So there's eight cards in the deck. One more of them exhaustible. <laughs> oh, it's time to go off. The extra card draw per, uh, per turn with the sap tap actually makes it work. <laughs> I cannot believe the stars aligned like this. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I did start this run from a run that was going to be off camera because I had Engraft at the start and it wasn't a Seraph that was going to devour my spells. Because I had a little bit of an idea. Maybe. Maybe I can finally get this to work. Enough people in my comment section have told me that this is a build, that this works, that you can do an infinite not that difficultly in this game. Sorry, not that difficultly. Without that much difficulty in this game, I wanted to see it myself. I just can't believe it's all coming together. Got him. Good fight. <laughs> can't make me take another card. Are you kidding me? No. I actually don't need another card from the Hellvent right now. However, I can go off on turn one with more removals. And turn one, pretty fast. Let's also dupe and get another Engraft. Upgrade the champion for more rejuvenate damage. <laughs> Non-boss enemy units gain multi-strike. Okay. They can strike as many times as they'd like. You're more than welcome to. Should I set up on the top floor? No, it still kills the boss faster if it's on the bottom floor. Get all those out. Horned warrior, two train stewards on the next floor. This train steward on the top floor. My shots out of the deck, and then graft him. That'll do. <laughs> oh, you love to sit up. Oh, oops. Almost killed my infinite there. Thankfully, I have another end graft, so it's totally fine. One spam until the fight is over. Yeah, the rest of this run's gonna be pretty quick. Largely because of stuff like that. Uh, sting spells gain plus 10 magic power and piercing. No, I'm not taking any sting spells. Not an end graft. No, I don't need it. No, I'm fine with that as well. What I really want to see is the event that gives you the. Yeah, I'm going to try and do it. I want the event that gives you the Historian and then the, to take Purge of Gold after that. Dang it. Purge a Restore from it. Eh, probably a Purge a Restore. Or a Hornbreak. Yeah, the Hornbreaks aren't honestly that excellent in the deck anyway. Happy to get rid of them. Double stack. More something's costs. 
it feels like basically at this point I should just get cards I don't want out of my deck. Let's get a train steward out there actually. That's why I draw into the combo faster. I know they're not there for the second cycle, but I might be able to you know, go off on turn one. And if I can go off on turn one, I can probably kill a boss on turn one. Like, like this boss. I don't think I can this turn. I think I can do it on turn two though. Turn ends there. Um, one break out of the deck. And this is a boss on turn two. Have you enjoyed your time on this earth, Fell? It is over. Draw an extra card per turn, and obviously, uh, nothing. Can't pay me to take a card at this point. You'll have to pay me not to. Hellvent Caverns. I do want an artifact, but do I need it? Come on. Historian. Historian. It's not a historian. I mean, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to remove the units anyway. But I guess I'll get a behemoth right now. Then let's move both train stewards. Those pyre shards also kind of need to get out of this deck as well. They're chunking over the, the first cycle. I think I can now go off on turn one. Six card deck. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, feels good. Can you just spawn the boss already? Like, we both know what's about to happen. <laughs> I can't even get that money. Maybe I should have left my... Horned warrior until there was someone else already up there. Okay. Go off. There's the brief respite. And boss time. All right. Let's fight real hard. See if we can win this one. Uh, well fought battle. We got him. <laughs> uh, regen resource plus one health per stack. We don't regen at all, so I don't need that. Uh, another end graph. No, fine. I've got all the end graphs I need in this deck. Thank you. Okay, this time I'm gonna go over to the artifacts just to see if any of them could possibly be. Not useful, because none of them can be, but interesting at least. No. Rejuvenate with 30 damage to the frontline enemy unit. And I am going to kill Seraph the Temperant on turn one. You're on the middle floor, Seraph? All right. Get him. <laughs> Heaven is all that remains. I don't know. I think I'm all that remains. Goodbye, Seraph. That was sub 20. Incredible. 
Last episode, I said I didn't even know you could finish a run as fast as 27 minutes. Well, I didn't even know you could win, uh, win a run as fast as 19 minutes. One sentient, one horned warrior, three engrafts, massively upgraded and restored. It is ridiculous that the first relic we got was Sap Tap. The first items, the, the first merchant of magic we went to was holdover and lower cost. The two things that I desperately wanted on engrafts. You don't actually need holdover and uh, em emberstone for this to work. Emberstone gives it the ability to cast an X cost card as well for a ridiculous amount of value. And holdover just makes it more, like while I have a chunkier deck, uh, it makes it more likely for me to hit the infinite earlier. But as soon as I removed everything, I didn't need, didn't need any of those upgrades. It just helped us get off the ground. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. Must have been a speed run. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.